Hello friends, welcome to Neha's Creations. Today I'll be showing you how I made this blue pottery wall decor. It has been made on an 18 inch MDF base and it has a mirror in the center. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So let's get started. I have taken an 18 inch diameter MDF base and an 8 inch diameter mirror to be placed in the center. To find the center of the MDF base, I am placing the MDF on a newspaper. I will mark the edge of the MDF and we will cut out the mark circle. Now placing the mark circle on the MDF, I am folding the circle into half making it into a perfect semicircle and again folding once more. This part that we are cutting will give us the center of the circle. We can cut out the sides as well to make four grid lines and if we fold again and cut out we will get eight grid lines of the circle. Folding again and making one more cut from the outside will give us 16 parts of the circle. So we have the grid line and the center ready. I am marking the center with the help of an OHP marker. Now to find the exact placement of the mirror, I have made a cutout of the same size of the mirror and now we will find the center of this paper cutout. Following the same process, I am folding the paper cutout into half and then one more fold will give us the center of this paper cutout. Now by matching the center of the paper cutout and the MDF base, I am marking the circle where the mirror is going to be stuck. I am using Fevicol to stick the mirror to the MDF base and we will let it dry overnight to make sure that the mirror has stuck properly to our base. The center of our project has gone behind the mirror. We will be needing this center to mark more circles and uh, mark more grid lines using a rounder. So I am pasting a thick paper on the back side of the newspaper and I have marked the center again. This thick paper will prevent the mirror from being damaged by metal part of the rounder. I am applying white color gesso on the outside or the remaining part of the MDF to prepare our base for our painting. After the gesso dries, we need to stick the paper back so that we define our center. I am using masking tape to stick the paper to the MDF base. Now using a very light pencil and a scale, I am marking the grid line from the center towards the outside. Now using a rounder, I am marking circles of 4.8 inches, 5.8 inches, 7 inches and 8.5 inches radiuses. Now let's start making our design. I have furthermore divided the grid lines so that we can have more petals. Near the center of the circle, I have made closely spaced petals with round edges. In the next three layers, I have made petals with pointed edges. And when we move to the next layer, there will be a petal between the two petals of the first layer. The size of the petal increases gradually. Accordingly, we will progress with our design. Now that we have drawn the design and all the petals, we can start painting. For the entire project, I am going to use ultramarine blue and zero number brush.
and it's complete what do you think about this art piece my dear friends i would really love to hear from you so please do write in the comment section below and let me know what you think about it if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and encourage me by liking this video and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you for watching wish you have a great day happy new year to all take care bye for now Thank you.